Hi, grade three friends, Miss Johnson here. Today, I'm going to walk you through the five finger rule for choosing just right books. Have you ever wondered if the book you're reading is a just right book? Maybe the book you're reading is just a little too hard or a little too easy, but you're not sure? Well, I'm here to help you learn how to choose a just right book using the five finger rule. First, find any book that looks interesting to you. If it's about a topic you like, it could be a just right book. So find a book that looks interesting, turn to any page, just flip randomly to a page and start reading. As you're reading, you're gonna hold up a finger for every word that you don't know. You can use this handy chart to help see if a book is just right for you. So read one page from the book and every time you see a word you don't know, hold up a finger. If you see a second word or a third word you don't know, keep holding up fingers. If you have only one or two fingers up, just one finger or even zero fingers, that's too easy. If you have up two or three fingers, that could be a just right book for you. If you have up four fingers for four words you didn't know, well, it might be okay to try if you're really interested in that book. But if you have five or more fingers, that's probably a good clue that you have picked a book that could be too hard and it might start getting frustrating for you if you try and keep reading a book that's a little too hard. So how do we know? Let's practice this skill. I'm gonna click on some books and we'll try a few together. Here we have a book about oceans. I'm gonna hold up a finger every time I get to a word that I might not know. What is an ecosystem? Hmm, well, if I don't know the word ecosystem, I better hold up a finger. An ecosystem is made up of organisms. Well, I already have up a finger for ecosystem, so I don't need to hold it up again, put up another finger. But maybe I don't know the word organisms, and then I wanna put up another finger for that word. The environment in which they live and their interrelationships, hmm, oh, I've never heard that word before. I would have to put up a finger again. So I'm already at three and I'm only in the first sentence. Each plant and animal depends on other living and non-living things in the ecosystem for its survival. Living things are called biotic factors. Biotic factors? That's a word I've never heard before either. Here I am only in the first paragraph and I already have four fingers held up. This probably might not be a good book then. I'm gonna try another one. Remember, Zero or one fingers, that's too easy. If you wanna grow as a reader, you need to challenge yourself. Two or three fingers is just right. Four would have been okay, but I was only halfway through the page. I was almost definitely gonna have five or more, so I'm gonna try a different book. Let's try this book about Lego toys. Old Kirk Christensen. Hmm. Well, I don't know that word, but I think it's a name. It's okay if I don't know a name. I'm not gonna hold up a finger for that. The father of the Lego brand is a man named Ole Kirk Christensen. Oh, I was right, it was a name. He invented the first Lego toys. Ole was born on April 7th, 1891 in a village in Denmark. So far, I've known all the words except the names. As a child, he enjoyed carving figures out of wood. Hmm, maybe I don't know what a figure is, in which case I might hold up a finger for that. Ol trained to become a carpenter. Hmm, if you don't know what a carpenter is, you better hold up a finger there too. I hope you're following along with me. In 1916, he bought a carpentry shop in Belund, Denmark. Hmm, carpentry, carpenter, those words are similar. I don't think I need to hold up a finger for carpentry. I've already got one for carpenter. There he built homes and furniture. Hmm, I wonder if those words give me a clue into what a carpenter was. Let's keep reading. For many years, Ole's business was successful. Then the world experienced the Great Depression. Ooh, if I don't know what the word depression means, I better hold up another finger. People across the globe were left penniless. That could be a fourth word I don't know. Hmm. Ole's customers could no longer afford to buy houses or furniture. 
Well, that seems like a clue. I wonder if that word penniless means something to do with not being able to afford things. Maybe that's just half a finger now. Ole had to adapt to keep his business running. He began to build less expensive items, such as wooden ironing boards, stools, and ladders. He also made wooden yo-yos, animals, and other toys. Customers loved the toys. They became his best-selling items. Soon, he decided to focus on only toys. Here we are at the end of the page, and I've only got about three and a half, we'll say four fingers. So this might be a too hard book. Let's look at the chart again. If I'd had two or three, it would have been just right. Did you have two or three when I was reading? If so, then it's just right for you. Did you have four, but you love Legos and you really want to read this? If so, go ahead and keep reading. Remember, a four-finger book is okay to try if you're really interested in the topic. So I know a few friends who really like to play with Lego toys. This could still be a just right book for them. Let's try one more. Remember, read along with me and every time I say a word you don't know, hold up a finger. Two weeks pass. Look, I see tiny seedlings. Hmm, if you don't know what a seedling is, that's one finger. Little leaves grow from thin vines. Hmm, vines could be a word for some people. The vines spread out. Curly tendrils grab onto other plants or fences. Maybe tendrils. I don't know if that's a word you might want to hold up if you've never heard tendrils before. Pumpkins need long vines to grow. Small tendrils help the vines spread out. Sometimes gardeners guide the vines so they grow in the right direction. Well, so far, I'm still just at three that I might not know if I was a student. How many are you at? Are you at zero or one? If so, this book was too easy. You want to challenge yourself to read a little bit harder book so that you can keep growing as a reader. Was it two or three? Then it's just a right book. Seemed like it could have been just right for a lot of people. Four or more. Remember, okay to try, but five, too hard. Keep looking for another book. Remember, the school has lots of resources for you to use in finding books. You can go to Tumble Books. You can go to Audible, Epic. There's also Pebble Go and Sora. Don't forget about those. You have lots of resources to find for your reading. So today, go explore. Find a book that's just right for you and get reading to build your stamina. Thanks, friends.